Congressman, great to see you. Great right seeing you, you as always. Thank All you for right. having All me. Right. Thank you very much. Let's begin. We're going to get to <laughs> unemployment and jobs and policy, but we we must begin with, with the why I'm running. We and we'll get to that okay. as well. But let's begin right. with the the news of the day, which is jobs, that, jobs, jobs. Which are which is moving the you, economy. You we're going to get there. Okay. Hold on. All right. Uh, you are Healthcare. under investigation by the FBI, according to several sources. We've reported that the Miami Herald, El Nuevo Herald, Reuters has done that as recently as last week. You were saying, "Hey, I don't know anything about an investigation." Don't you? Well, here's the deal. Here's the reality. Uh, for, which I've said for the past two years, uh, no federal agency, none whatsoever, has ever stated or ever confirmed that David Rivera is under investigation for anything. In fact, the only candidate in this race that we know is under federal investigation is my opponent, Joe Garcia. In fact, oh, he's been get, under. No, well, let me let me remember. You told me I would have a chance to, uh, yes, to respond yes, to, you these, do, to these and, allegations. And I want to so get to the whatever only, the FEC thinks is going on. Well, I'm, I'm, I will get to it right now. The federal government, a federal agency, and for the last two years, a federal agency has been investigating my opponent for breaking campaign laws. The only candidate in this race that has been under federal investigation for the last two years is my opponent, Joe Garcia. And here, I will I will hand you all of the documents demonstrating that investigation going back for the last two years. So again, as I've said many right. times for the last two years, no federal agency has ever stated or confirmed that I'm under right. investigation well, this, for anything. Well, this, if I may say, I'm not a lawyer. I haven't seen all these documents. Just I've for your records. That's all. That's great. Just, just you know, you have. he apparently mm -hmm. failed to report some contributions of $5,000 or more, which is required by the FEC, but that's not... It's actually a lot more than that. There's, that's going back two years. You're just talking about the latest federal investigation right. of my opponent, but All this right. goes back two years uh, worth we'll, of federal we'll, investigations. We'll, we'll get more Certainly. into uh, Mr. Garcia presently, but, you know, you've hired a very good criminal defense attorney, Michael Band. I've only known him for about as long as I've known you. Um, if you're not under federal investigation, why have you hired Mr. Ban? Actually, that's also inaccurate. I haven't hired uh, Michael Ban. Well, I haven't I've hired any. I've spoken with him. He I says know, he represents you. Because the reason, the re well, because he was he was helpful to me in a separate, in a separate investigation involving the uh, the state uh, attorney here locally, which had charges that were all you know found to be baseless and unfounded. And he was very helpful with that. But I haven't hired any attorney for any federal investigations. That's completely false. So as far as you're saying on the record, you have Michael. never been notified by that you are a target of a absolutely. federal grand jury Michael. investigation Michael. or absolutely. the FBI has never asked Michael. to speak Michael. with you? Michael, absolutely not. Look at me. No federal agency has ever stated or confirmed that I'm under investigation. The only candidate that has been under federal investigation for the last two years that's in this race is my opponent. All right. Well, some of the political vendors whom you have used in the past have told me and other reporters that FBI agents have come to them and asked about your alleged involvement uh, in the campaign of Justin Lamar Sternad, the Democrat who ran in the August primary, and they said that you were at least tangentially involved in Mr. Sternad's campaign. Well, one of those vendors I think you're talking about is Hugh Cochran, which yes. I know you I know you've spoken to. Let me play you a little tape uh, from Mr. Cochran, a voicemail that he left with the Miami Herald reporter that is involved in running this story. Just so you know, Mr. Cochran's a gentleman. You don't need to call me back. I'm just giving you um, Alina's phone number that I have, which is her mobile number, 305-934-1241. 305-934-1241 on Lena Garcia. You may also want to look up property records. She has two or three rental properties that she maintains. Um, it's always possible. Um, uh, what's, 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 what's the point here? I mean, uh, listen, I haven't heard the meeting. What you just heard was him telling the Miami Herald reporter he may want to look at some of my staff members' rental properties to see if that person is hiding uh, one of the person, people he alleges that I'm associated with in this campaign. And what this shows, Michael, is the agenda of that source trying to concoct and fabricate more uh, defamatory information yeah. against me, a voicemail, indisputable. Uh, conclusive. Right. I, I don't know who evidence. he was speaking to, and I, he was leaving a voicemail I, for Manny I, Garcia, the reporter I, who's writing writing the stories. Okay. If you if okay. you would, um, and I'll leave you this tape as well, so you can have that. Okay. So again, All right. you well, said there's I, a source. You said just now that there's a, a source that you spoke yeah. to that said that has some relationship uh, with this campaign. Well, here's that John same Bolero source and another. And I've spoken. All right, let me say I've spoken to Hugh Cochran. I've known him for many years. You just years. heard him, former FBI agent. And he told me that you had asked him to prepare some very sophisticated, targeted list of voters 
for a campaign, and at one point when they were all Democrats or they were African Americans, uh, niche voters, that he wondered why you wanted this list, and then he said they wound up being sent. And you just mailers heard, were used. Mailers were sent out for this turnout. And you campaign. just heard that same individual leaving a, a, a voicemail from a Miami Herald reporter trying to fabricate, trying to fabricate defamatory you information. Man, you say Manny Garcia, Ab the editor of El Correct. Nuevo Herald, is trying to fabricate. No, no, no. You just heard that source that you just referred to leaving a message trying to fabricate. Information, defamatory information on my campaign. Look, this is part of the political silly season. Let me just let me just say this. I have said on many occasions, and look at me again, Michael. There is absolutely no federal agency that has said I'm under investigation for anything. Oh, I have said on many occasions uh, that I absolutely, uh, c completely disavow, reject, and deny all of the false allegations that have been printed I, in these Miami and, Herald and stories. And I have reported that as well. I need to ask you, what is your relationship with Ana Allegro? As I've said on many occasions, she's a political consultant. For the last 10 years, I've known her here in South Florida as a political consultant, as many other professionals that work in that industry. Mm -hmm. Did she, she managed Sternad's campaign, and according to reporting by Manny Garcia and Mark Caputo, uh, uh, at some point she referred to you in Sternad's present as DR repeatedly, she wouldn't say your name, and as the gangster. Now, I don't that's know. Not, that's not the case, Michael. What you're talking about are, again, anonymous sources that have been referred to in Herald stories. No source has ever got on the record saying any of this. You're repeating uh, scandalous, scurrilous, rumor mongering, tabloid journalism from the Herald. And I understand, you know, you work for the Herald, you're on their payroll. I understand they're, they're I very reputable. I am a freelance yeah, writer right, for the Herald. Right, I'm right. not really on their payroll. They don't they pay you for your articles? Me, they need to pay me a lot more than they, so pay, they pay me you for, for my they, articles. So they pay you for your articles. Yeah. So I I understand you have to defend their journalism, but these are no, anonymous I sources. Defend, I don't have to well, defend their journalism. Well, you're referring to them. These are anonymous sources. No one has ever said on the record that Hugh any of that is true. Cochran and John Barrero mm -hmm. have told me, they told David uh, Adams of Reuters, mm -hmm. that you know, that you were involved somehow in the Sternad campaign. Well, actually, Mr. Barrero, in all, re in all uh, confirmed reports, has never said that. The only person that's gone to record saying that is the gentleman that I just played a tape all who's right. trying to fabricate information right. defamatory to my candidacy. Let's 